Before the break, we asked which one of the areas in Atlantic City featured on the Monopoly board game is misspelled. The answer, Marvin Gardens. The I in Marvin should be an E. The typo made it onto the prototype back in 1935 and was never fixed. Welcome back to Atlantic City, a new day. I'm Dawn Stenslin Menti. And I'm Larry Menti. A centerpiece to the new Atlantic City is the Bass Pro Shop. Over 10,000 people showed up to the grand opening of the Hunting, Fishing, and Outdoors Superstore in April, just in time for the 2015 summer season. The Bass Pro Shop is huge, with 85,000 square feet of space and is smack dab in the middle of town. You see it as you enter town off the AC Expressway. It is one of Atlantic City's centerpieces in a new strategy to attract tourists to non-gaming attractions. The store is expected to attract over 1 million customers a year and it employs over 200 people. That's the kind of good news that gets the governor to your grand opening. This is going to be one of the greatest investments that Bass Pro Shops has ever made and we are looking forward to continue to work with them and all of you to keep Atlantic City the great place that it's always been. The Bass Pro Shop is worth visiting just to see the artifacts, the 13,000 gallon aquarium, the murals, and the waterfall inside. It's like no outdoor shop you've ever seen. Yeah, and it is just one of the new attractions that will be open for the 2015 season. Now in July, one of the most exciting entertainment complexes to come to Atlantic City in a very long time is expected to open its doors. And you're about to get an exclusive look inside with the owner of the playground. And it's very exciting. It's, to be part of the rebirth of this town is great. What I see in Atlantic City is, is a missed opportunity. Atlantic City was frozen in time a couple decades ago. The casinos were built and every all innovation stopped. And without innovation, like happens in Vegas every 10 years, you, you, can't, you can't grow. And so it just stopped growing 20 years ago. And so what we're bringing back in is non-gaming amenities, in this case, entertainment, as an anchor tenant for the pier. And everybody loves entertainment. There'll be a lot of live music here. There'll be eight different venues with live music just on the first floor alone. So you can imagine the draw that this will be. Give us a sneak peek into your brain, what you're envisioning, and starting in July, what will we see? Sure, Dawn. As a kid, I came here all the time, like most of us from Philadelphia. And it's just a great opportunity presented itself. This half million square foot, beautiful pier sticking out into the ocean, 900 feet. It's just a remarkable piece of real estate, not just here in Atlantic City or New Jersey, but in the entire country. And because it's 900 feet long, I decided that the anchor tenants on each of the three floors should be entertainment based. On the first floor, it's an inspiration from Nashville, or 6th Street in Austin, Texas, or Beale Street in Memphis. Live music venues in storefronts. This is 39 North, so this will be a music venue that will ha house 2,000 to 2,200 people. And the stage will be over there. And this is uh, my crew right here. We're going over, that crew there, going over acoustics and lighting and some construction. I can see clearly, yeah, that's what that crew is. And these areas here are bars. So we probably have, oh my God, 100 feet of bars in this room. And you'll be able to see an act here. This will be a wonderful venue uh, when we're done with it. It's exciting because you are creating and you're making a difference. And I, I like to say it's nice to be able to do good and do well at the same time. Is the city, do you feel supportive? Oh, yeah. Are you feeling the love? Yeah, it's funny because part of the uh, reason I'm here is because the new mayor, Don Gardy, and they're just such incredible boosters. And they're so welcoming and, and, and so helpful in every, any which way they could be. Because it's the first time I've left Philadelphia in decades. And so it was a big decision to come somewhere else. They couldn't have done a better job making me feel welcome. And that should be for anybody else that wants to come to Atlantic City. It's a wonderful town to come and start developing. It's amazing, it's an island, Absecan Island, and there are homes on the south end of the island that sell for $10 million. 
also, to me, Atlantic City is such a sleeper, real estate-wise. So you, you hope to be, in a way, the Pied Piper, and hopefully others will follow you. I don't know about the Pied Piper, <laughs> but encouraging. <laughs> and you had told me that this is actually one of your smaller projects. By dollar-wise, this is the smallest project we're working on. But by meaning and importance, this is the most important because this will then send a message to the rest of the world that it's safe here in Atlantic City to invest money non-gaming other than casinos. Oh, Atlantic City is a sleeper. I, I've been around the world to see, uh, we have one of the best beaches in the world. Yeah. And there's no reason why Atlantic City can't be more like Ibiza, the island off the coast of Spain. That is Europe's playground in the summer. We don't have in this country, not just a state, in this country, that place to go to if you're mid-20s to 40 and mostly single, that's just a great place to go and have fun. Well, there's the old saying, if, if, if you build it, they will come. So you really believe they will come. If I build it, they better come. <laughs> <laughs> and Bart Blatstein also told me it makes him feel good that his project alone will help create 500 new jobs here in Atlantic City. Uh, you may remember that in Philadelphia, Blatstein's Piazza project really rejuvenated the Northern Liberty section of Philadelphia. You know, they love him here in Atlantic City and in Philadelphia because they say what Bart Blatstein says he's going to do, he does. He gets the job done, Larry. And there is much more in store for Atlantic City in 2015 and beyond. When we come back, I take a stroll on the boardwalk with Atlantic City's new mayor, and he shares his vision for the city. But first, more Atlantic City trivia. What was the first Atlantic City casino, and when did it open? <laughs> 